Hi, Stephanie here. I'm going to be making a video blog today, or some may call it a vlog. And I'm going to be talking about one of the most common mistakes that I see entrepreneurs make. And it's inspired by a phone call I just recently had with a new entrepreneur. She's four months into her business. And when I asked her what her challenge was, she said, well, I just need to find more leads. I just need to find my ideal client. And in fact, she was actually hoping that I could help her find a list of companies that were generating at least $1 million in revenue. And what I told her was, it's actually not that simple. In fact, finding leads is just one very small piece of a larger strategy when it comes to building a profitable and sustainable business. And I would actually need to go deeper with her in, uh, in order to really discover what the missing pieces were because I knew that finding leads was not her problem because clients are everywhere. Uh, but there's so many other aspects that are important. And also, it doesn't matter how many leads you have, if you're not set up on a foundational level to serve them, to be able to know how to communicate to them, how to turn them from a lead into a client, you're going to waste a lot of money and energy on bringing those leads in without that foundation. So what is that foundation? Well, first of all, you need to know your why. Why are you doing what you do? It can't just be about money because you need to have something that's going to really distinguish you from everyone else in the marketplace. What makes you unique? What are you offering that no one else does? Or how are you going to serve your client in a way that's more you know, expanded or more useful than maybe someone else? You need to be able to stand in your power and be able to effectively communicate that and know that for yourself. Be able to stand in your credibility, especially if you're gonna be speaking to a company that generates at least $1 million uh, a year, they're not gonna sit down with just anyone. You really need to build trust and be able to really show them that you're a professional who can handle uh, their needs. So that's number one. Number two is, you need to really understand who your ideal client is. Many times people will think their ideal client is one uh, business or person when really it's another. And that's happened when I've worked with clients. They come in thinking they're going to serve one kind of person. And after we do some of that foundational work with the why, they realize that they're feeling more called to serve someone else or they are a better fit to call someone to serve someone else. So this woman might think that her ideal client is someone that generates at least $1 million a year, but that might not be who she's actually really, you know, best fit to serve. It might be someone else and she might be, you know, barking up the wrong tree, so to speak. So you need to know who your ideal client is and you need to do the right kind of market research to really understand what that target market or ideal client needs. This is going to be important because when you do get on the phone with them, you need to be able to speak to their unique challenges and the solutions they're seeking and be able to effectively communicate how you are going to solve their problem. And if you haven't done the right kind of market research, your communication, your marketing, your sales conversations are not going to resonate with those uh, clients. And they're most likely not going to say yes to you because they don't really understand how you can help them. Uh, this is a big thing, a big barrier, right? If you don't know how you are unique and how you can help someone and you're all over the place in your communication and you don't have a streamlined service or package, you're going to confuse your clients. It's going to be very hard for them to say yes. So then the third thing you need to do is up level your sales conversations. Now, this is only possible if you've done the right kind of target market research, because you then really do know who your ideal client is and what they need. And then you've tailored any packages or services to meet their needs. Uh, you need to be able to have clarity on all of those pieces in order to then talk about that when you have them on the phone. And then throughout this whole process, you need to be very streamlined, effective, and professional so that you are showing your prospective client right from the beginning that you're a professional who can handle whatever challenge they have that you're going to help them with. So it's not just about finding more leads. It's about all these other aspects of your business. You need to have the whole enchilada. And it's going to be very hard to find the right person if you don't have that kind of clarity. And it's going to be hard to close those clients if you also don't have that clarity and that confidence and certainty in who you are, what your business is, and what you offer and how you can help other people. 
So I'm really hoping that this is going to save you a lot of time and wasted energy and resources. If you're just focusing on, oh, I need ads, I need to write more blogs, I need to bring more people in. I mean, yes, that's important, but that's step four. That's step four of this whole process. Step one is the why. Two is ideal client, finding out who you want to serve and doing market research. Then three is fine tuning your packages and services and really getting clear on how to communicate that in your sales conversations. Then, then you want to bring in more leads. Then yes, a list of leads would be really helpful because you're going to know what to do. But with this person only being four months into her business, I had a lot of doubts that she was actually really set up on that foundational level to have those kind of conversations. And, and that's what I told her. I said, I'm sorry, if you're looking for an easy fix, that's not how business works. And I know that it wouldn't actually solve your problem. I would need to work on a deeper level with you in order to really understand what's missing. And sometimes that can take several weeks for me to understand. It's not something I can just kind of quickly know, which is why I generally work with people over the course of a few months. So I hope you see something new for yourself in your business. If you're struggling to expand your business, go back to these, uh, these core kind of foundational pieces. If you need more support, I have lots of free and low cost resources on my website. Uh, and many people might need more hands-on support through coaching. And if that's, and, and I would say most entrepreneurs do actually, because being able to apply all of this to your unique business can be very overwhelming and having expert eyes on your business can really make the difference. And so if you resonate with what I'm sharing with you today and you're interested in uh, becoming a client, then just respond via email and we'll see if we can get on the phone with you and what kind of program would be a good fit for you. We only take on a select few clients every month because I'm just at capacity with one-on-one -on -one clients. And then we do have some group programs that we could talk about as well, but we want to find out what's going to serve you best. So if that, if that sounds like something you're interested in, then just reply to um, an email or you can email me at stephanie at trbe.org and we'll get that set up for you. Okay. So go ahead and take these four steps. Look at one might be what might be missing for you and focus on that one first. And I'm really hoping this is going to shine some light for you on where to focus in your business. Okay. Until I talk to you later, to your greatness. You got this.